sooner a trauma patient comes to the hospital, the better the chances of the patient surviving and better the chances of the patient going home intact. So it's called golden hour. So what is golden hour? It's the 60 minutes after trauma has occurred. So in the emergency department, once the emergency team along with the ICU team has actually stabilized the patient, that is has intubated the patient, secured the airway, put the patient on the ventilator, seen what the other injuries are. If there is head injury, we need to deal with it. If there is a chest injury we, and the patient is bleeding in the chest, we would need to put a chest tube, stabilize the pelvis, do um, CT scans if the patient is stable enough. And once the patient is stabilized in the emergency department, the patient is then moved to the ICU of our hospital and further stabilization and further treatment of the patient continues in the ICU. Management of a complex multi-trauma after the initial stabilization of in the emergency department will be taken up by the critical care team. As already mentioned, the presentation of the patient to the emergency at the earliest is of prime importance to ensure that the outcome is good and also to ensure that the patient goes back completely healthy back into the community. In the intensive care unit, in addition to managing the injuries, we make sure that optimal organ supports are given proper monitoring of the patient, especially when they have complex injuries such as brain trauma, major fractures, abdominal injuries, thoracic injuries, where they would not only need monitoring of the routine vitals, but also of complex monitoring systems such as neuromonitoring, placement of specialized devices in the brain to look at the brain pressures, constant monitoring of the consciousness, to keep doing scans whenever it is necessary, and also to ensure that relevant surgery or interventions are performed to ensure that the injuries are taken care of and the continued stabilization and organ supports in the ICU. After the stabilization and treatment in the ICU is completed, the patient then gets moved to the rehabilitation department where the rehabilitation team completes the patient's recovery process and ensures that the patient goes home. For over a quarter of a century, the acute care systems in Manipal Hospital Old Airport Bangalore has been in the forefront of taking care of these complex critically ill patients. We have also been part of active preventive processes trying to educate the lay public in helping them to prevent these accidents and if at all an incident happens we ensure that the patient is transported to the emergency department stabilized and then treated in the ICU before they get better to go home.